The word of the day is guard your motherfucking heart. <laughs> tend to attract an audience that is very congruent with my journey and I would like to think of myself as an overextender that is checking themselves <laughs> we had that conversation last week but I feel like I look for my level of friendship in other people and it is not always congruent like you know how they say common sense ain't common to everybody no more well neither is respect in certain connections that i feel like are facilitated um i'll be perfectly honest with you i've been let down time and time and time again and i stand on a righteous stance saying that they're wrong and i'm right however i really honestly feel like people have forgotten what genuine connection and friendship is. And because of that, you have to guard your heart. And so I, 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 I seek to understand why. And you know why. We don't go outside anymore. These posts about Asheville going on right now. Everybody pray for Asheville in the comments. Oh. The city of North Carolina that was devastated by Hurricane Helen. Uh, well, they actually didn't have any cell phone service. So for the first time, we're seeing kids go outside and actually coerce with one another. That energy rubs off on each other. They're not in their phones. They're meshing with other individuals, learning how to adjust their frequency so everybody is congruent, running on the same train. We don't have that no more. What we have is them playing Call of Duty, going up tied into a school and shooting the goddamn shit up. That's what we have. Look at the propaganda, the media. Look at what we're told. It's always a black man in jeopardy and a white person talking crazy but getting pardoned. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's those, those down south southern hospitable values that even New Yorkers have. You just got to earn it from New Yorkers. <laughs> okay? Which nowadays I feel like we all should take a page out of New York's book. I'm the nicest person in the world, but I have to first discern whether you're even worth not only my kindness, but my attention. And I've never lived myself, my, my life like that. I've never been that way. I've never been the type to make you audition to be close to me or to, um, you know, be in my circle of, of, of friendship or influence. But I feel like as I continue to rise with success, as well as continue to stay authentic in a world that's fucking fake as faux fur, okay, I think that we have to start administering trials before they get you paying their bills. You know what I mean? Before they get paid more than anyone, before they have access to your romantic heart, because I don't know about you, but my sex game is abnormally well. Somebody rockin', I got this nigga call me every Saturday, faithfully. I know he got a wife and kids or something like that, and I don't ask no question. You come in here and drop your drops, nigga. <laughs> there's a healthy distance there you you yeah you coming over here and you dropping something off that i want but i'm not saying hey let's be together let me pay your bills like i once was you know what i'm saying i'm saying that to say this i saw a post scroll down on my facebook the other day and it says the kindest people always attract disloyal dishonesty x y and z yeah because the world is polluted with evil okay let's be clear the shit i have experienced with people can only be described as evil i don't understand <laughs> This is coming from a lesser plane, but I'm damn sure not evil. I could never connive. I'm not conniving. I don't under, it doesn't make sense to me. I would steal from Walmart, but I won't steal from somebody who worked hard for their shit. Oh. And that's real shit. Yeah, but I did steal from Walmart two times and got banned for life, but I would still be spending my coins up there on the Postmates. <laughs> transparent we got an expungement so if you look it up you'll never find it and be <laughs> but it leads me to the point of protecting the yoke of your spirit yoke of the devil has been destroyed <laughs> 
not for everybody. And I have been literally slinging it around for free because of my history of being adopted and raising my hands up, saying, oh my God, do you like me? Aww. And then having to face the fear of abandonment once more because I literally got abandoned. <laughs> The fix for that though is block and delete. <laughs> I done got to a point where I can pretend like you don't even exist. And it's sad because our memories are so potent. But if you want to forget, edibles. <laughs> <laughs> forget or you won't grow right um coming from somebody who is over raise your hand if you like this over generous give people the shirt off your back even if it means you walk around in the rain with no clothes on overextending yourself doing more than the average setting people up to believe that that's normal coming from you they get upset when you don't break for them <laughs> don't get paid back even though they say it's a loan okay um you have rules about living in your home but they live in your home and do whatever the fuck they want to do and you're like woe is me afraid to kind of stand up for yourself in that regard and now that latter part i can't relate to i will always stand up for myself and i will always stand up for somebody who needs to be stood up for but at the same time i look past the need to stand up for you because of my kindness i love you that much Aww. no more Guard your motherfucking heart, bitch. How do you do that, Boots? Do I have to change my personality? Not at all. You don't have to be cold. You don't have to be um, uh, uh, unapproachable. You don't have to be uninviting or anything like that. But if somebody says, oh my God, I forgot my wallet. Well, bitch, you ain't going to this movie. <laughs> oh my God, we struggling. We're going to have to eat hot dogs tonight. Well, I, you know, shit, they got some buns on sale at the food line. <laughs> oh, my God, cuz, I can't do this. Can you help me? I mean, no, I got my own shit going on. <laughs> and if that, if that makes you uncomfortable, you can say, let me think about it. And then you book a reading with me and we'll devise a plan to where you're comfortable and you still say no. We have to learn that, people. Or these demons or demonic energies using people as flesh acarons will continue to rape you. And I mean that literally. Rape. Because that's what it is. We get spiritually raped by these users, bro. And we let it happen out of love. But I will quote my band director, my high school band director, Sonia Smith. Love don't pay the bills. <laughs> and honestly, it can cause us to be indebted, whether it's time. And that's one thing you can't get back. That's, that's the biggest thing. Time. I wasted my fucking time curating this. You benefit and don't got nothing to show for it. Like, that shit pisses me off. But purposeful reaffirm your purpose on this planet and if you have questions about that holler at your boy girl bitch www.bootstero.com and guard your heart because it's worth guarding not everybody deserves it not everybody deserves it and who you choose to give it to make sure they honor you as the god that you are when you are benevolent in that regard <laughs>